In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing, but before I do that, I just wanted to showcase a few things. Um, my last video, making the axe handle on a scout camp. This is the hatchet head that I mounted. It's already getting a little dirty because I didn't seal it. But this is, that's just the hatchet I did. I'll probably redo another handle for it in the future, but uh, just to start. It was a fun activity. Um, then the the last axe handle that I did make was for this Norland hatchet head that I had promised my son when he got first class that I would uh, make him an axe that he could have. Uh, this hatchet head I found at thrift store for um, $5. <laughs> Killer deal. And uh, redid, cleaned up the head a bit, but left it as is to keep the patina. I didn't even fix any of the mushrooming, but then made a hickory handle and a sheath for it. Nice little small axe that I've put like a, I, I think we're looking at about 20 inches on the handle length of hickory. I quite like it actually, it's a really fun little axe. Um, then just a fun hand drill for some eye candy while we do this unboxing. Uh, for this I'll be using my um, everyday carry knife that I've been wearing using lately. I got this for my birthday last fall. It is a Boker Strike with a Tanto blade that I actually really quite like the Tanto blade, and I believe this is a Blade HQ exclusive uh, color combo of the knife. So let's get to it. I got a package. You can even hear that. This uh, came from, I ordered it on eBay, uh, was the winning bidder on a set of axe heads and hammer heads that I thought would be fun. Okay price. And I thought I'd open it up with you guys. So let's see. Let's see what's in here. All right, packing nice. First off, uh, old school hammer head. Oh, cool. It's even got the wedge in it. I'll see if I can reclaim that. It's just a little rusty. Not too bad. Nice little head. It's in actually pretty good shape. So we'll be able to clean that up. Let's see what's next. What comes out next? Ooh. Let's packing peanuts. They're not staying off. <clears throat> um, War wood, I think is what it says, uh, number three. It's like X40X, and it's got a nice big wedge sticking out of that thing. So it looks like a very small, narrow handle was on that one. All right, let's see what's next. This is actually the piece that interested me the most. I couldn't tell what it was, but I could tell it wasn't big. I kind of like the small hatchet heads and making a long handle for them. This is a nice little head. Again, a nice that's a big metal wedge. A little, little eye in this one. And I cannot make out any markings on that. I couldn't from the picture either. But that'll that'll be an interesting one to clean up. Interesting. Alright. That's it for 
that layer. All right, let's see. Oof, packing peanuts in the head, in the eye. Yeah, that sticking to everything. All right, another axe head. This one's mushroomed quite a bit on the back. See the profile. Ugh, come on. Let's get that out of there. Again, pretty rusty. I can make out something. Kelly works is what it says there. Yeah, not a bad axe. Bad axe head. I always wonder why they're so curved so much on that top. But we'll get that cleaned up too. We'll probably mount that somewhere. Let's see what's next. All right. An old roofing hatchet. Really quite old. Pitting is pretty deep in this. But this will be an interesting one to clean up. I wonder what the steel's like, how hard the edge is. That I file with me, we could check that right now, but some interesting interesting looking head. But in good shape. Pretty solid. It'll be a fun one to do. And Another smaller, possibly a hatchet head, I don't know. Ugh. Packing peanuts everywhere. So this one, again, uh, I think it says Kelly. Kelly Axe something. Looks like an egg. I'm pretty sure that's not what it says. But it's another Kelly hatchet head. I wonder how heavy that one is. I think that's it for axes. I think there's just one more hammer head that should be in here somewhere. Yes. This one's kind of a fun one too. I don't know, what, what kind of hammer is this? Is this like a cobbler's hammer? I'm not sure. You guys tell me in the comments. I'm not sure what it is. Ugh. Packing peanuts are driving me nuts. And I'm not sure the, the use of that curve. I mean, it looks like a regular like, framing hammer, except for there's no thing there to pull your nails out and it's a very small eye I mean my very small cool it's a cool little hammer though and it's at the same time it's not light I mean this is still pretty heavy but so those are the items in the box today a couple hammer heads Small sledge hammer, a couple Kelly axe heads. I'm not sure how heavy they are. An old roofing hatchet and a nice small hatchet head. I really like this one. I mean, this is this is the one that interested me the most out of all of them. I'm not sure what it is. I haven't seen too many hatchet heads this shape or size, but it's cool. I mean, compare it to this Norlin hatchet head. This was, oh, I think this is probably a pound head. If this one feels heavier than this. Uh, uh, get a, uh, profiles. It's a longer head. It's a little wider on the cheeks, and it's definitely heavier. 
Um, but the part that is at the top of the handle is about the same size. The eye of this one's smaller, it looks like, but it's fatter on the cheeks here on the side. So it'll be, be an interesting one to clean up and see how the steel is. I hope the edge is really good. This will be a fun one. So look for these on future videos because apparently I've got seven things to hang new handles on, um, which is fun. Uh, you, if you didn't see the last, I did a hammer in one of my last videos where I rehung a hammer on a new octagonal head um, handle. These ones, I'm pretty sure I'll at least make the handles myself for the axe heads. I picked up a nice piece of hickory uh, a couple weeks ago that should give me enough to make several heads. Um, probably even put a nice hickory handle on this one. Um, We'll see after I clean it up. I may reshape this. A lot of people like to cut out this portion and clean it up. Um, make it less of a roofing hammer and uh, roofing hatchet. Uh, I also wouldn't mind curving this and reprofiling that edge to um, less of a shingling hammer and more, more of a camp hatchet or a camp axe. So we'll see. But look for those in, in future videos. But uh, for now, look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And we'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao.